Just a good old boy Never meaning no harm Beats all you ever oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute I got an idea, I got an idea I'll tell you, you know People have asked me Every day since I got the part of Bo Duke on the Dukes of Hazard, they ask me how I got the part of Bo Duke on the Dukes of Hazard. Y'all want to know how? <laughs> okay, now I did a whole bunch of theater and guitar playing and magic and all kinds of things all around Atlanta. And one day I was working in the Omni in a thing called the Crazy Horse Saloon Review, and I heard that Warner Brothers was upstairs in the Omni casting a television show, and I found out that they wanted 100% Southern, no actors. Good old boy, somewhere in their 20s. So I said, well, shoot. <laughs> shoot, I got that licked. <laughs> but I'm going to need a couple of things. So what I did, if I can not tear my guitar up here, I went and I got myself a few little props. Let me get myself untied for the part. I went, walked upstairs, Looked in my closet and found me an old t-shirt. There it is. Old t-shirt. There it is. And I put this one on, <laughs> just like that. Now, <laughs> you all know that a good old boy is no good without a pickup truck. So I went out and I borrowed myself the prettiest little pickup truck you've ever seen in your life. I got in it. I said, thank you much. Bye. Got in it and started driving down the road. And the friend of mine that I borrowed it from came running out in his underwear with his hat in his hand. And he said, wait a minute, you can't take the pickup truck without the hat. Goes with the truck. So I said, okay. He said, you want to be a good old boy, you got to wear this. There it is. Good old boy hat. But there was something missing. There was something that was not quite right. You know what it is? A good old boy ain't a good old boy without a good old can of PBR. <laughs> right. So... I had my shirt, I had my hat, I had my PBR, I had my pickup truck, and I was ready. I was 110% Southern. I was ready. So, I walked upstairs. It was on the 13th floor. Must have been my lucky day. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> and what I did, I got up there, I walked right in through the door, you know, just kind of strutted in through the door, and I said, hi. How y'all doing? And I sat down. And I looked at Warner Brothers' man right dead in the eye. Of course, I don't know which one of the Warner Brothers it was. And uh, I looked him in the eye and I said, uh, Hey, tell me, what, uh, what kind of character y'all looking for? <laughs> and then all I had to do was <laughs> audition with about 250 people every night of the week, screen test on every Friday night for five and a half weeks in Hollywood, California, and then I got the part. They gave it to me. They picked me for the part. I couldn't believe it. Yahoo! I got it. And just to tell you and show you that Warner Brothers people out there know exactly what they're looking for. The minute they see it, these producers are so sharp, the first thing they made me do is take off this shirt. <laughs> Throw away my hat. Get rid of this. They made me trade in my white pickup truck for an orange car they call a General Lee. <laughs> Told me to keep my feet to myself. Just a good old boy. Just a meeting no harm. It's all you ever saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Straightening the curves, flattening the hills. You know, the Sunday, the mountain might get them, but the lawn of the wheel. They're making their way the only way they know how. Well, that's just a little bit more than the law would allow.
just a good old boy. They wouldn't change if they could. You know they're fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood.